Hey, nerdlets, hope you're all doing well. So, uh, while, while I was in bed, I, at least I was, you know, goofing around trying to see if I could get, uh, Ursula with the level 1 Anna, and I actually did it, which was kind of funny, but it's not too difficult, honestly. I wasn't using Minerva at all. So, no big deal there. Yay, um. <laughs> so, anyways, today is the first episode, uh, with trivia, for those who don't know. Um, for those who are wondering what this video is going to be about, we'll be talking about that in a second. Simply put, right now, what we're doing is, well, trivia. Um, basically, you answer these three questions that are strewn along the video, and when you answer them correctly, you will be given the chance to, you know, enter be entered into a free summoning session from me, basically. So all you need to do is, in the comments, put the three answers, because there's three questions, remember, in your comment, and if you get them right, make sure you have your uh, your platform, be it you know iPhone or you know Android, and also make sure you also include your uh, country, your region that you're in, and from there, all you need to do is you know wait and see if you win. There's not any time limit this time. I don't want it to be fastest wins because that was kind of you know a little shaky before. So this time, it's all about taking your time, being collective, and getting it right, and then everyone has a fair shake at it, hopefully, okay? And this episode is actually going to be about grand battles, because, well, you know, we have Ursula back, and I figured why not. So, today's, <laughs> today's trivia is all about grand battle heroes, and it's going to be fairly easy, because the first day usually needs to be first, you know, kind of, since it's the first day, kind of easy. So, let's start off. This sword user has a very conflicting passive pool of life and death and wary fighter. There you go. Hopefully you guys can guess which one that is. I mean, there's not very many, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Um, I'm gonna try and do lunatic mode. I'm not gonna, I don't expect to do too well because, well, I was going to, I'm gonna try once and then we're gonna talk about what I'm here to talk about. So, um, for those who don't know, at least, I'm going to try and bait the units here a bit more. Um, hopefully things go as well as yes. I expect them to. But, anyways. For those who don't know, there is actually... They've, they've talked about this before, but there is a new game mode coming out soon, and it's going to be based around Veronica. And we've known this for a little while. It's nothing too crazy. We've kind of all, always known it's coming. It's no big deal. Nothing too crazy. So, when people are asking, hey, what exactly is it about? Well, I mean... I guess we'll talk about this in as much detail as we know right now, and what I expect it to be about. So, first off and foremost, this one is going to be a gauntlet-like system where you're going to be going through several stages, and here's the fun part about it, permadeath. At least from what I can piece together, it's actually going to focus around permadeath. Oh boy, that was not a good idea, I forgot about Ryoma there. This is what happens when I'm not I'm talking to you guys. Whoopsie daisy. Um, so yeah, I as I said, I'm I'm I can't do it while I'm talking. I can't focus while I'm focusing on something else, so I will save that for a little bit later. Um, so permadeath. And that's you know, it's been something that's been in Fire Emblem for ages. Uh for those who don't know, in most games, in I would say all games actually, at least until Awakening, units who die they would stay dead. They would be dead for the rest of the story until, the, you know, until you restarted or you maybe got upset and you lost your character and, you know, reloaded your save and tried again. So, basically, it's been something that's been a part of Fire Emblem for all of its life. And no surprise here that we would get that when it comes down to Fire Emblem. Heroes, at least. Uh, I almost just trailed off there for a second, but... There's no surprise that it would eventually come to Heroes, and I feel like this would probably be the basic idea of what's gonna happen. Um, so basically, yeah, we're gonna be getting, we're going to be getting uh, permadeath in a different sort of way. It's not actually going to be an actual permanent death because, you know, these characters you get here are either, you know, from money or luck and things like that, you know, something you earn. Uh, so none of your characters are going to be dead for real, guys. Don't worry about that. What I think is going to happen is basically, 
at least from the screenshots that were shown. Unfortunately, I can't seem to find any of the screenshots I was looking for, even though I tried to look through the Reddit and... Um, originally, this game mode was dubbed War Vortex on the uh, Fire Emblem he English... The Fire Emblem Heroes English Twitter, which is a fan run... Uh, you know, it's a fan run Twitter, so, like, the translation is not as key. Like, it will probably be something else completely, but we'll see. Um... It's a gauntlet style system, as I've said before, and it seems to be about six or seven stages. And what I'm thinking is going to happen is you go through this gauntlet style system, um, you complete these stages as much as you can, and if a unit dies in one of these battles, you can't use them in the next. So basically, it's all about leveling up units that you do have, like certain units here, and, you know, trying to fill in spaces where you might you know, have lost a unit. Like, if you lost Ryoma, you might replace him with, you know, Xander or someone else that you have who would fill that void just as well. Maybe Ike, or if you have any, you know, certain units here. So basically, it's all about making sure you're <laughs> you're able to coordinate as well with your team, which, based on what you just saw in that Lunatic battle, I am not. And, um, so for the most part, it seems like it's going to go back to the old kind of Fire Emblem style of, you know, you need to be conservative, but also know when to play correctly and, you know, go in there and do your damage. But in exchange, you will probably get, at least according to what they've said, you will get a five-star unit out of it if you complete the gauntlet, at least from what I can tell. Who knows if that's, like, maybe a random chance or something, but it seems to be based around the whole idea of getting a new additional unit. All right, so before we begin that, I'm actually going to give you the second trivia question right now, okay? All right, so the second trivia question here is, this flying unit has a very special passive that disal that basically stops any damage, bonus damage, that would come from archers. All right, there you go. Nothing too crazy. Again, super easy. If you don't get these right, I will be very upset with you guys. Very upset. But anyways, um, War of Vortex seems to be like a challenge is probably going to be something that you know you're going to need to level up your units so if you don't have you know multiples of certain colors or you know like additional units you can fit into a team it's not a bad idea to maybe work on that as you can especially right now since there is a point you know 0.5 additional <laughs> exp bonus there meaning that you know you get a little bit more out of your out of your gains so definitely is a good time to try and level up some units to 40 Hopefully, you can get some good stuff out of that. Um, <laughs> right now, honestly, it's a lot of lot of interesting content is coming out. We still have, you know, what seems to be a huge Echoes thing happening. And, <sighs> boy, I just, I, I good lord. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of content. The, you know, if this War Vortex, I'm saying this with quotations, which shout out to Razley for pointing that one out. Um, you know, if permadeath does come out, that's that's not a bad thing, as long as it's restricted to the gauntlet and it doesn't actually kill your units, because again, money's really hard to come by, and I don't want to lose all these precious units I have. Except Takumi. He died. Poor, poor Takumi. But yeah, I mean... Level up your units while you can, guys. Um, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to have a serious talk about feathers and have a huge rant about it because there's there's still so many problems about it and I know a lot of people are probably like oh goody one of those videos <laughs> um and you know I kind of want to see more seals be released because right now we only had three and while they're great I would like to see a few more that are about defensive stuff so yeah War Vortex seems really interesting I'm very excited for it I I think it's coming in Maybe in the next two weeks. I forget exactly the actual date of the patch they were talking about. It could be a month for all I know. I forget the actual timing of it. And yes, I'm actually going through my friends list now and clearing away a lot of that nonsense. So a lot of the older players who don't play anymore, I've cleared away. And for those who want to uh, be a part of my friends list, you will be allowed to, hopefully. There will be no problems. And if you saw yourself on there, chances are you may see yourself on my friends list very soon because I'm clearing away a lot of it. I don't want to don't want to show it right now because it's still 
There's a lot of people who might get upset if they see me delete them on, on, on screen, but I'm going off of play activity. If you haven't been on for more than like 40 days or so, I'm going to be removing you. Just saying. Anyways, that's about it, guys. That's pretty much all I have to talk about. The third trivia question is, well, she just murdered my, my Ryoma. Who is that? There you go. Simple enough. Nothing too crazy. So, uh, put those in the comments. Tell me what you think. And, you know, do you, are you welcome to have, are you, are you welcoming permadeath back into the game, guys? We'll see. And I hope to talk to you all very soon. So, yeah. See you all on the next episode. Hopefully with me not being so distracted about talking about a topic. God, she was just, God, she's such a jerk. She just destroyed me. She destroyed me. Anyways, see you guys soon. Bye.